Sigalisa Wegg and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ugatsunumi or my English name is Kathleen. And on this channel, I talk about beauty, I talk about fashion, a little bit of lifestyle. I also get a little ranty <laughs> with my uh, series, The Ranty Auntie. I'm working on filming a, a new episode, maybe I'll get that um, filmed soon. Uh, but let me know if you have any topics that you want me to cover. In this video, I wanted to hop on here, bare face, no makeup. You know, I brushed my hair, <laughs> um, but I think it, I watched this YouTube video and I'll link the video in the description box, but I think it was it was re a really interesting concept because we, we expect perfection from ourselves. Like I remember when I first got into like making TikToks, like I would spend so long getting ready and like so long like filming and editing and like trying to get the perfect shot and nothing was perfect. And then I would just be like, okay, hey, well, I'm not going to post it say how do we tell ourselves more often that you know our authentic selves and who we are is good enough uh so that's kind of what i wanted to do today is to um you know not come up all done up and all you know <laughs> looking fly and glam because you know that's not the reality the reality like this is you know i <laughs> i go to work like this bare face but I just thought that was so funny because like I don't get up early enough to get ready for work. Like I get ready like for the basics that like I don't smell. <laughs> but like anything beyond that is like a challenge. Okay, and then, so I did, I called it another um, chatty get ready with me, get ready for work. <laughs> if I ever wake up on time because that's like my reality. I find like it's super silly to get ready to film. Like because I should be ready in terms of like who I am because it's not about what I look like or what I'm saying like I, I get that you know maybe some if I'm when I'm talking about makeup then yeah you want to see that process and you want to talk about those products and whatnot but like when I want to talk to you about important issues then that doesn't matter right like the content and what I'm saying is in my brain it's not about you know if my eyebrows look good or not like so I just thought that video concept by um I think her name is EJ Speaks um but I'll link her, her channel in, her, in the video that I saw below. But I thought it was a really interesting video. And it talked about how, like, you know, stop expecting perfection from yourselves. And stop expecting it from other people. And that when people come on to social media and they put themselves out there in their, like, authentic selves. Like, you know, not glammed up. Not, like, all that stuff. Then, like, don't criticize them. Don't say, oh, your, your under eyes are really dark. Or don't say oh you're you got some acne like it's like mind your business <laughs> mind your business because like if as long as you're still getting what you want out of the content whether it's to feel motivated inspired like that's what i've been turning to youtube for um right now for this one i wanted to specifically talk about um why we need to normalize our regular faces and why we need to feel comfortable in our own skin like i'm 27 years old it's taken me a long time uh, to be comfortable in my own skin. So I want to, you know, have a conversation around how, how do we start that process earlier for uh, our future generations up and coming? Like, we need to start that process from, like, you know, as soon as they hit puberty and, and that, um, those teenage years, when they're so critical of themselves. Like, you know, my nine-year-old cousin is, like, feeling her legs. She's like, I got hairy legs. And, like, and I'm like, what like I don't feel no hair like I'm like I'm like you're a baby like you know what I mean it's like our the social media world has you know already programmed them to think that like oh hairy legs are gross like you need to shave your legs and it's like you don't have to like if you don't want to if, and if it's not bothering anybody like don't let it bother you because it it could bother someone like so to me that's kind of like my perspective on on some of this stuff is like we're so fed with social media and everyone's perfect selves that we often like i notice i used to do i used to be really bad for this when i was younger i would always compare myself to other people and especially like being a bigger person like i would always like feel some type of way when either i was the biggest person or i wasn't the biggest person like i would feel like a sigh of relief when i wasn't the biggest person in the room and like that's because society has taught us that like you know fat bodies are you know lazy and they're stupid and they're not like worth worth life you know what i mean so i've had to live a lot of that internalized um you know trauma and and messaging and it was like the, you're never good enough like you're never good enough unless you're skinny and and skinny equals healthy and like there's i want to go that route with my channel too because 
I think if I'm gonna make videos that talk about my experiences that plays into it like I have a lot of you know intersectionalities and so I've discovered some other youtubers that do talk about these types of topics and I've, I feel very inspired to you know. so I hope that you know we can start to normalize taking selfies without filters and feel comfortable in our own skin and embrace our natural features and you know feel happy and feel confident in who we are and I hope that you know that's something a positive message that we can spread within our our friends our peer groups our families because we know that you know it starts at home like society society's done a good job of brainwashing us that you'll have a better life if you know you do these certain things and that things will be better for you and it's like well maybe but also like <laughs> you only have one life like don't um try not to live it like just you know not feeling good about yourself because that can have such negative aspects and then can cause more 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 trauma and more problems so uh if you like this style of sit down and talk with me i'm kind of in my home office right now um <laughs> let me know in the comments and thanks for getting to this far in the video like and subscribe and comment anything you um want me to talk about or any questions you have about you know my experience or or you know just if you want to talk about anything okay thanks Thank you. Well, bye.